Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is May 26, 2016, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, starting at 10.30 a.m., GBP number coming out. Uh, that's a preliminary gross domestic product number that's coming out. And then at 2.30 South African time, we have core durable goods coming out of the United States. And then the weekly unemployment number is coming out also at 2.30 South African time. So looking at the markets, um, one of the biggest um, retracements yesterday was the gold, as you can see here, retracing all the way down to 12.20. Wow, wow, wow. Almost uh, $80 retracement from our high of 12, of 1,300, excuse me, that we hit. Um, just last month, at the at the end of last month. So this month has been a really tough month for gold. We're tracing all the way down to 1220. 1215 was our baseline uh, as a possible support level. And it's just hitting it right there, just just above it a little bit. Um, so ultimately, you know, maybe a good place for it to bounce, go to 1246-ish level. Uh, but I think we'll be consolidating with this in the, within this level. Um, if it goes down to 1180, that would be even a, you know a better spot to pick it up. Uh, but you got to keep an eye on this 1215 to see if it breaches it. I mean, I'd love to pick this up at 12, 1180 on a personal account, uh, but you know ultimately it might not give it to you. It might be just trading within these ranges uh, between 1215 and 1246. Uh, but those are the two levels to really keep an eye on to see if it does breach it. Looking at the Dow Jones. What a whopping day yesterday. So if the gold is going to be retracing, the Dow Jones will be rallying. And that's exactly what happened here. We had a tremendous rally going over 17,700. And then we're settling at 17,832 right now in the morning. Um, so resistance is 17,880, only 50 basis points away. Uh, further than that, we may be able to hit 17,900. Okay, that would possibly be my next uh, re major resistance level. But as you can see, we're right there. I mean, it just keeps on, you know, going up and then just coming right back down, going up and just coming back down. Let's see if we can maintain this momentum on the upside and see if it's not going to continue selling off. Looking at the uh, USD CAD yesterday, a nice retracement from 131 to 129. CAD obviously getting a little bit stronger versus the dollar. Um, as it retraces here. This is a support level to 129. Uh, the next support level 129.29. So that's 150 pip uh, you know, move if this does break this support level. It was a previous support level here, here. Anticipated resistance which was right here. And then uh, and then as you can see here we're rallying right back up. So you know this might be a good place to either you know, go on the upside or retrace further on the downside, but you kind of keep an eye on it to see which way it's going to go. Oil's been very resilient, trading at 49.89. We sold off a little bit this week, but we rallied right back. Um, as you can see here, this little uh, sell off a little bit, but as you can see, we rallied right back up, and we're just hitting this $50 mark, and that is a major mark for it. Aussie USD retreating further than 7.72. Uh, we're trading at 0.7194. So the question is, is, is it going to bounce? So, I mean, the downside is not that much. Okay, we have about a three to 400 pip downside. Uh, but ultimately, if this does turn around, you know, it does have an upward momentum. Looking at a monthly chart, I mean, we're really right back down there. So, you know, historically speaking, <clears throat> um, the furthest we've ever gone down to was 0.62. Um, we're at this level down here. Let's see if we'll have this turnaround over the summer. This is Fred Razak at CM Training. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.